Hi, it's Jackie. This week we're gonna come up with a crime film from France, hell. Paul skimps and saves to set aside a sum of money with his parents, then opening a hostel in the town. His beautiful wife gives birth to a lovely son for him. Time passes by so fast, six years later, on vacation's peak period, many visitors come by his hostel, his place is always crowded, there are lots of stunning and interesting attractions here, plus, the boss is gentle and his wife is kind. Paul has a happy family and also a prosperous business. But there is some unreasonable pressure that Paul can't endure. He usually has to take sleeping pills every night, until one day, Paul finds his wife is with a customer, they are watching slides together in this room, Paul's wife is still really charming, although she just loves Paul, she still can attract lots of men's attention. Male customers always find ways to approach Lena, but she never thought of betraying Paul, but Paul still can't help feeling suspicious about his wife. He stands alone beside the river and calms his weakness down. Since then, his suspicion has become increasingly bigger, every time a male customer wants to meet Lena, he's always suspicious about their relationship. Lena knows about Paul's jealousy, but she feels happy because it proves Paul loves her. However, her suspicion gets greater by time, he checks Lena's bag, supervises her, and even secretly follows her. One day, Line goes to visit her parents, Paul follows and keeps an eye on every action her. Lena suddenly put on some makeup, which makes Paul feel furious for no reason. When Paul is imagining, a car of one male customer passes by and follows Lena, it seems that he has a plan in mind. Paul runs right after him, but Lena has disappeared. Paul really freak out, but he doesn't dare to believe in his conjecture, then rushes to see Lena's mother. Their neighbor says they're not at home. When he's thinking wildly, Lena suddenly calls him from behind. She doubts why Paul comes here, he says just for work. On the way back home, Paul begins to imagine, about the relationship between his wife and that customer. On the scene, Lena gets on his car and even kisses him, then going to her parents' house in his car. Later then, Paul keeps on confirming his conjecture. On a sunny afternoon, when Lena is happily surfing in the sea, Paul hides in the forest off on sea coast and watching her, he basically can't rid of this story. When Lena's out of his sight, he still risks his life to chase after. Besides a small lake, Paul sees that rich customer and his wife come out and get on a boat. Paul falls to the ground, totally collapses. Just until very late at night, Paul still returns home in such a miserable appearance. He doesn't tell a word, making Lena really worried. After he goes, Lena finds Paul anywhere. Luckily, he has been back safely. Paul shouts out loud and says seeing Lena and that man together. Lena says just hitch his boat because she's too tired. The husband's attitude really makes Lena out of control. She worries for Paul the whole day, but in turn, it's just suspicion and untrust. Paul is heartbroken, he feels guilty for misunderstanding his wife. They hug each other firmly and everything comes back as usual. The next day, Paul and Lena start warming up their romantic love again. Some night, one customer who takes interest in making videos, will shows audiences some happy scenes of the hostel. And showing up most in these is Lena, but that scene makes his jealousy come up again. He can't help imagining his wife and that guy making eyes at each other. There are even some ridiculous pictures appearing in his mind. Like losing control, Paul walks in and stops the show at once, which freaks everybody here out. Lena doesn't know what's going on, she keeps asking, and getting a slap in her face. But Lena isn't mad at him, she really wants to know the reason behind that. Paul tells her about his envy. That kind of indescribable feelings makes Paul almost stifle, he wants to jump downstairs to end his life, but Lena can't stand seeing him like that, she tells him to fight her to relieve stress. She even agrees not to go out alone again. But her concession just makes Paul more insatiable. Every night, Paul keeps making a detailed inquiry about her, not give her any minute to relax. One time, Paul just leaves Lena for one hour, but he also forces Line to tell her what she's doing this time. Lena tells him all the things. Still, Paul doesn't believe it. He pushes Lena against the wall and throttles her. Lena finally can't stand anymore, she screams out and tells Paul. I'm that kind of a slut, what's you gonna do? Then she goes out and locks herself in a room. Paul like finds himself the answer, but he even can't believe it. After walking to and fro for a while, he eventually thinks through. He apologies to Lena, and tells her it's just because he loves Lena so much. Lena has to forgive Paul. But his temper can't be easily changed. On a stormy day, the electricity is totally cut off, so customers have nothing to do, begin gossiping with Paul. Paul suddenly realizes Lena has disappeared. He really wants to know where is she now, because he's afraid Lena will get to the wrong room in the darkness. Paul comes to their room, but he just sees his son and a tenant are playing piano here. Losing track of Lena makes Paul freak out. Then he finds Lena is giving a tenant candles in the corridor. Paul tells her to immediately get back to the room. In a sudden, Paul sees wax oil on his skirt, Lena says it might drop on her when she checked fuse wire. This thing can't help making Paul feel suspicious. 
He remembers the bartender also went check the fuse wire, so there might be something happening between them. In heavy rain, Paul remembers having not closed the attic yet, he climbs upstairs and finds Lena's necklace here. At this moment, he starts imagination. In his mind, Lena and a guy are getting intimate here. The worst thing is, Lena, deny being here, but after a while, she says she might have gone there to get a light. Then, their conflict gets worse. Lena can't endure any supervision from Paul, she can't make a concession anymore, if it's not because of the kid, Lena won't be with him until now. Paul has no word to say, he keeps silent and turns off the light. At midnight, Paul wakes up and can't find Lena, he goes to that rich customer's room, wandering around. After considering, he decides to take the key and open his room. He finds two wine cups on the table, but his wife isn't here. That customer can't figure out what's happening and even wants Paul to stay and talk with him. Paul is like losing control, he yells at that customer and tells him to get out of his hostel. That customer's really mad, he swears never get back here again. Returning to his room, Paul sees Lena is waiting for him. After the incident just happens, Paul loses his mind, the first time using violent ways towards Lena. After Lena leaves, Paul can easily find her at the doctor's. But unexpectedly, Paul confirms Lena must be having the disease. He uses his imagination to prove the love affair of Lena. He says he witnessed it. Paul even says Lena can sleep with any guys when her disease comes on. Paul seems unable to differ his imagination and reality. Knowing that issue, the doctor contacts a psychologist. He tells them to meet the next day. The suspicion of Paul seems to be out of control, he even thinks Lena must be having a love affair with that doctor. To keep Lena by his side, Paul locks her in the room, and even threatens Lena, not letting her out. Being exhausted, Lena has to use a sedative to fall asleep. But Paul isn't satisfied yet, he ties her to a bed with a rope. Paul even can't stop imagining that Lena's gonna escape. In his mind, Lena has already turned into a loose woman. He supposes his horn is getting higher by time. His illusion makes him become increasingly distraught. He holds a knife to Lena's neck and kills her. But later then, Lena's sleeping soundly on the bed, with arms tied up firmly. Paul can't figure out which is real, which is his illusion. Lena is dead or still alive, no one knows. It's the jealousy making Paul change beyond recognition like that. Okay, that's the end. Like, share, and comment. See ya next time.